before I begin today's video, I just want to say stay tuned for the end of the video. Um, if you did not know, this week is Transgender Awareness Week, and um, so I want to have um, a talk about that at the end of this video, as well as I want you guys to hear a word from our sponsor. Uh, this is my very first sponsor, so I'm uh, extremely proud of it. Hopefully you guys uh, will support me there, but yeah, so just stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And with that, let's get into the video. Hello. If you do not know, my name is Alex Jackson. I am 19 years old. I am from Mississippi. I'm a college student. And I'm a progressive Democrat. This video is a message, or maybe even more so of a warning, uh, to moderate Democrats who are blaming the progressives and the progressive movement. Uh, for the losses in the House and the Senate during the 2020 election cycle. We are not the ones who lost the election. As Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez pointed out on Twitter the other day, out of the 93 co-sponsors of the Green New Deal, 92 of them won re-election. Now, I don't want people to misconstrue my point here. This video is not to force moderate Democrats to instantly just believe in every progressive ideal that exists and to take it. I think that's absolutely absurd. You know, no one's going to flip their uh, values based just because somebody wants you to, you know. So, like, that's not what I'm here to do. However, there is a better way that we can go about it. What I do want to get across in this video, however, is I really want for uh, progressives to be understood by the moderates. What I mean by that is I just want there to be an open line of communication between moderate Democrats and progressive Democrats to be able to come together and make some form of compromise because the last four years have been run under one of the worst presidents in American history and, you know, it, it's going to take a lot to change that. We are going to have to take some progressive ideas to fix what has been already ruined. I even think we should at least hear out conservative ideas and try our best to come together as a nation to solve the problems that we have and at least hear each other out. Same comes from the conservative side for progressives and progressives for conservatives and moderates for conservatives and moderates for progressives. I mean, we can all try and have a reasonable conversation about the state of the nation. However, just like in 2016 and in 2018, uh, the elections for the House and the Senate not increasing numbers for the Democrats as much as they should uh, is being blamed on progressives by moderate Democrats. And they claim that it's the fault of progressives. However, progressives' numbers have gone up each election cycle and more and more progressive congressmen and women are getting elected. Instead, we should be looking at the uh, insanely bad polling numbers in Wisconsin and Michigan uh, where Joe Biden was leading by over 10 to 15 percent about two days before the election. And so Democrats simply just stopped campaigning in those places because they were considered safe blue. And I don't know why these places had such bad polling, but Democrats just did a very lazy job in certain areas of getting the word out. And obviously, in certain areas, it was able to work. Um, we Surprisingly enough to myself, I was surprised that Georgia flipped, um, but Democrats did a good job in Georgia. But let's look at Wisconsin and Michigan, where the numbers two days before the election and the numbers that came out that are almost at 100%, 99% reporting, um, they're, they're just not what they were supposed to be. And that's not for the, to be blamed on really anyone except for the pollsters, because they gave false hope and false... Uh, a false sense of awareness. I feel like there's going to be a split in the Democratic Party before long if moderates do not start listening and being more open to progressive ideals. You know it's really messed up when conservatives who I have almost nothing to agree with on are treating me nicer and with more respect than moderate Democrats who are attacking me and saying that uh, we, we, uh, as in progressives, are the reason that uh, we didn't flip the House and the Senate. And the main person who's driving this is Nancy Pelosi. So now I just want to give a few directed messages to certain people with the outcomes of this election. To Nancy Pelosi, 
we're on the same side. Stop shoving us to the side. We have had four years of a homophobic, racist, sexist president, and he has done things to this country that we need to change, and we need a lot of change. So we're going to have to give in to some moderate ideas, and you guys are going to have to give in to some progressive ideas if we're going to get true change in this country, and if we want Joe Biden to win again in 2024. To conservatives, your ideas matter. We want to listen to what you have to say. I understand that there's going to have to be some give and some take, and I understand that not everything that I want and think that is right is something that you're necessarily going to agree with or even be comfortable with. But we need to be open and be able to have discussions and talks about it. And finally, to progressives, the fight's not over. We should not give up just because people are telling us that we are the ones to blame for the losses in the House and the Senate this year. Because at the end of the day, we're not. I have a feeling that change is going to be happening soon. Either the Democratic Party is going to accept the message and be more open to progressives, or the party is going to split and the Democratic Party is going to be left in shambles. Let's come together, America. Thank you for making it this far in the video. Um, so now I want to give a brief discussion about uh, Trans Awareness Week, just because I think it's something that's important and something that a lot of my friends in the LGBTQ plus community uh, you know, have to go through and struggle on a day-to-day -day basis is people being discriminatory towards them. And so I would just like to take a minute in this video to just briefly discuss it and uh, link you to some fundraisers that you guys can uh, check out and donate to. In America today, transgender people are discriminated more than almost anybody else. This week allows people to be more aware of who these people are, showing both their struggles and their triumphs. Uh, I am going to link a couple of different uh, transgender fundraisers down in the description below. I've donated to these uh, certain ones, so I, and I urge all of my followers to uh, because it, it's very important that we get equality for all. If we are going to be, you know, if, we're, if America is going to push that equality message, then we need equality for transgender individuals as well. So, feel free to take time out of your day, donate below. Now finally, a word from our sponsor. Big Brother The Game is a game based on the hit television game show where you can compete against other individuals in a social experiment for a chance to win up to $1 million. In the game, you will compete for head of household every day, nominate two people, play in the power of veto to save yourself from elimination, and vote to evict until there is one person remaining. You'll then move up to another tier to compete against former winners from the other games. And eventually, one person will be able to win the cash prize. The people who make it to the biggest tier will be the ones with a chance to win the money. Use the link in the description below today to download the game. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload by The Disney Nerd. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.